I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. Ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur, go to your family. Arthur, get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. Will you read me that passage that Reverend Swanson used to read? You remember that? Well, not not really, Mama. <laughs> Nor do I. It was so pretty. It, it was in Isaiah, I think. Okay. Uh, here's, here's a beautiful passage. Um, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath, he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That is beautiful, <laughs> but it's not the same. The Reverend spoke about eagles. Well. I don't know much about eagles. Um, good night, Mama. Good night, son.